Okay, hello. Um, I guess this is my first vlog. I'm out here for a walk at the beautiful nature of Tampere. I've been doing intermittent fasting now for about a week, a little bit over, with a couple unsuccessful days. I started with a 16 hour fast and 8 hour feeding window and I move now to 18 hours. 18 hours of fasting and um, working my way to 20 hours of fasting. I'm quite badly overweight, morbidly obese in fact, though I've now, now lost lost um, about uh, 15 kilos from my highest weight. That, that was already before I started intermittent fasting, but that's like... Unfortunately, during several years and it's it's gone up and down again. I'm not very good with sticking with any lifestyle changes, so... I don't know, this intermittent fasting, it's, it's been a lot of ways easier to me since I'm struggling with food addiction. I've never been uh, like a horrible binge eater or anything like that, but I'm definitely definitely a victim of uh, food addiction and that mainly comes in the way of me never being able to just get food out of my mind and intermittent fasting has has really been helping with that um, I just ate before coming to this walk so I'm, I'm not really feeling that well it would have been better to to go for a longer walk before but oh well mm. if you can see I have what of a gut. At my highest weight I was um, uh, 137.8 kilograms. I think it was 303 pounds if I remember correctly. But that was a few years ago. Mm, mainly due to overeating and sedentary lifestyle. I have had phases in my life where I've um, actively gone to the gym, tried to eat healthier. At my lowest I was about, I, I think it was 105 kilograms that I had written down. But in my adult life I've always been around 100 kilograms and uh, more so about 120 kilograms. And I think it's when I started hitting 130 kilograms and above I started having breathing problems and I, I like asthma, I had to have an inhaler and that really got me worried. You know, I did the stupid thing of not running to my tram and instead waiting for the next one because I was just in such a bad shape. Um, I don't know, I just, I really hated myself. I hated how the way I look. I'm, I'm not very pleased with how I look now either, but you know, I'm working on it. And, uh, yeah. I read the obesity code at first, or listened to it as an audiobook. And um, I had already started to get back to the path of more reasonable eating and such, and moving a little bit more but you know I just I failed with that so many times it's just it didn't seem right and I just got I, I don't remember why I noticed obesity care the first time I've known about fasting before and I read the fasting subreddit before um, but I always thought it was a little bit nutty and not sustainable because I, I you know I thought that my relationship with food it's, um, I'm just too addicted. There's no way I can ever, oh wow, I see my lovely chin, chin over there. Um, so yeah, I'm sitting down. It's actually on a very wet stone because it's been raining, but oh well. 
Um, so what, what I was gonna say, um, I thought that fasting wouldn't work for me because I'm so addicted to food, I'm constantly taking, thinking about food, that I thought fasting would just make it worse, that I would end up binge eating finally, that I would, I would end up as like one of those binge eaters. Um, hmm. So what did I want to say? Um, but it's not been like that. I've been very surprised. It's been easy. Surprisingly easy. And I do want to work my way towards an extended fast. I've been... Um, I've been reading a lot of... Um, I guess testimonies might be the right word. From people. I've been watching the fasting fat man. Who re who's really inspiring. Um, I'm not planning, at least at this point, to go without food that long. Currently I'm on my summer vacation in a very not-so-summery Finland. Oh well, I guess it's summer enough when it's about 10 Celsius. Um, so I, I have time to go on walks. Um, I... Ha I'm currently living with my parents because they're, I, I have like elderly parents who who need help in the day of like I need to go to the grocery store and stuff and sorry there's mosquitoes over here um, so I moved in with them a couple of years ago from another town I lived and worked in another town but since my work allowed me to change, change cities I, I did that. I moved uh, from Helsinki to Tampere, and um, so I'm, I'm I'm not totally in control of what I eat now because we eat as a household, and um, yeah, they are not exactly happy about my in intermittent fasting. You know, they, it's not like they have any say in it as such, but um, I don't want them to be worried either. Mm. But I think I've uh, I've read reasonably much about the subject and uh, to know that it's not dangerous in any way and I think extended fasting wouldn't be dangerous either. Um, sp Sorry, I've, I've never vlogged before. Mm. But yeah, uh, so currently I'm just doing intermittent fasting and n doing no snacks between meals. Mm, so most days I'm like eating a couple pieces of bread with toppings and coffee and then I'm eating dinner and that's it. But the thing is that with intermittent fasting I'm not... <laughs> Sorry, the freaking mosquitoes. Um, I'm not denying myself anything, so I'm eating cheesecake, my favorite. I, I'm just not going. I'm not like going crazy with it. I'm eating a piece of pie, but it's a reasonable piece of pie. Um, my portion sizes, which have always been a problem for me, I don't have that problem anymore. It's um, yeah, it's been easy. Like those things I thought I would struggle with, that I would just keep overeating, but just with a limited time frame. Um, that hasn't happened. I, I'm eating less. I have easier time controlling my portions. Um, I'm trying to eat healthier when, when possible. Veggies, you know, fruits, veggies mostly. I've never had a problem eating salads or... Uh, Healthy things like kale and such, I like them. I, I think they taste good, but we, that's all I've eaten an unhealthy amount of that with other very, um, like a giant bowl of pasta or something, you know, that that's not good for you. So, reasonable sizes is the answer. And, um, what else? What else? Yeah, so I am 39 years, years old. Well, 
Yeah, still a gut. I think this, yeah, this morning when I weighed myself, I was 122 kilograms. So within a little bit over a week of intermittent fasting, I already lost four kilos. I'm very happy with that. Um, yeah. I'll probably come to think of something more. Um, but hopefully this suffices as the first vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye.